Hi Capricorn, welcome to my channel, Badison Intuitive Tarot. In today's reading, I'm taking a look into your romantic love life for the week of October 2024. I'm going to pull an eight card spread, see who shows up in your reading today with romantic intentions towards you. Whether it's somebody new or someone that you already know right now, I will definitely do my best to see who you're connecting to this week and what your story could be with this person. See what you guys' feelings are towards each other, this person's intentions and behavior, things like that. Just please keep an open mind, Capricorn, that I do get very, very nosy in my readings. I don't sugarcoat messages. I don't hold back. So if you hear a message and it doesn't sound like your situation, please let the message go. Never give your power away to tarot cards. You're never tied and bound to any outcome in any reading, and you are always in full control over your choices. So with that preamble out of the way, I'm going to get right into it. Just going to give it a couple more shuffles. All right, please tap into the energy of Capricorn today. What's going on with Capricorn this week in love? What's their story? Two more shuffles, eight card spread. One and two. Let's rock this and deck for my beautiful sea goats. Okay, the person coming your way, how do they feel about you? We have the Wheel of Fortune. This is fixed energy showing up. Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, and Aquarius. This person's intentions with you. The Emperor, Major Arcana for Aries. This person's behavior and actions this week towards you. The Magician, another Major Arcana. And this is the energy of Gemini and Virgo. Dang, you've got someone not playing around. Um, someone's feeling like they need to make a move now. That the time is ticking with all these clocks showing up in this person's energy. It's like they're feeling like it's, it's going to have to be now or never. Someone's feeling the strong pull to make a strong power move. And they feel confident too that um, what they're going towards is what wants them to. Let's see. Let's see how you feel. We have the King of Swords. You look to be still in your observing era with this person. Like you're still kind of keeping a watchful eye on this person for right now. Not saying that you don't want to be with this person or not. This person's coming in clearly interested in pursuing you, feeling like, come on Capricorn, now or never, it's go time. And you are in this energy of, I kind of still want to you know, read things through, observe, that's the King of Swords in regards to what I'm picking up on. Like you want to be a fly on this person's wall before saying, yeah, let's do it, whatever this is. Now remember, I don't know your status with this person, whether you guys are already married and you're going through a big change or you're in a relationship going through a big change or you're about to get in a relationship and you're going through a big change. I'll know more as I dive deeper. It's just it's telling me that whoever this person is, they want you. They're clearly interested in something to do with you guys and going forward but you feel like you still need to be a little bit of a fly on the wall, AKA watching tarot readings, asking family friends for advice, looking over their social media, something like that, which tells me either this person may have done something that left you feeling like you have to like be a little bit more discerning with them, or if this is someone new in your life, you've been through your fair share of setbacks where you give someone your trust and then you regret it immediately after. And you're trying not to fall into that trap ever again. You don't want to land in some sort of web and get stuck, you know? Let's take a look at the potential challenge. The Eight of Wands. It's looking to me that something is gaining a lot of momentum, that train is moving quickly, and then all of a sudden you might intercept it because you want to talk to this person first. It's like this person's coming towards you with a serious opportunity in order to get things moving forward. And for some reason, you stop them right in their tracks to ask them some important questions first. That could be what I'm getting. You may just want to have a nice conversation and get some answers to some important questions before you be like, all right, let's go. It doesn't have to be that dramatic. Sometimes tarot can make things seem a bit dramatic. Or it very well could be. All I know is you stop this person in their tracks. They're, they're gaining momentum. They're feeling confident that now is go time. But you're like, hey, wait, can we just talk first? So I will clarify this, okay? But this person is definitely picking up steam because of those three major arcanas are showing up in their, their position, okay? When major arcanas come in 
like this, it talks about big life force energy. It, po it, it, it talks about like someone having like a huge wake up call or having a huge realization to something. One of those, ah, uh, I, I think this is now type of moments. You, you know what those moments are. You know what I'm talking about. Um, where you just, like picture you're sitting in your room as a kid and your room's a mess and you're like, hmm, this room's a mess. There, there needs to be just some changes here. But you're not feeling kind of motivated. And then one day you're like, you know what? I'm gonna get up and clean this room. And then, whoosh, room is nice and clean because you just had to wait until that moment of feeling that motivation. Stupid example, I know, but that's the only thing that popped up in my head when I was talking about the fact that it's one of those moments where you just have to feel it to really go for it, okay? And they're having that, that huge realization that they want to go for something. They're feeling confident about something, all right? Your potential outcome this week, Capricorn, is the Fool, another major arcana, and this is Aries energy. So something is starting anew for you whether a new relationship or you and someone is giving your relationship a whole new makeover and starting over, or you perhaps may be telling me that you don't like what you hear when you ask this person some questions and you're like, you know what, I don't, I don't wanna take your offer, I'm just gonna go in my own direction, thank you. So we'll see. What's your advice, Capricorn? We had the Ace of Cups. So your advice connects to a new beginning in love, okay? But right now, that love can, that love vial has a cap over it, has a cork on it. You haven't expressed your true feelings for this person just yet, okay? I need to do some more digging to see if they're encouraging you to keep those feelings to yourself or to uncork that and express them, okay? What's the overall energy for Capricorn this week? The devil, major icon for you. Influencing that is the Six of Swords and the 10 of cups. Interesting, interesting. All right, so we've got five major arcanas here. That is significant. And with the overall energy being the devil and the six of swords, I've got a Capricorn that is hyper-focused on, on something right now. And you can't seem to shake it or let it go until this person can give you some reassurance on what's going on with the situation. It's like you're obsessing about something. Something is in your head and you're obsessing about it. And it's one of those situations where I can't let it go until I get some answers or some clarity from this person. It's kind of what it feels like, whether you're wanting to know if this person has ever been unfaithful to you, if you've already been in a relationship, or if this person is with you for the wrong reasons, or if they're talking to other people. There's just something weighing on you strongly and you want to get off your chest before you're willing to move forward with this person. It's like you're in that boat ready to get good news or bad news in regards to this person. If you get bad news, you're in your boat already so you can take off. But if you get good news, you'd be like, all right, hop in my boat. We'll ride this out together. Okay. Um, the devil also talks about you know, obsessive thoughts, it talks about temptation, it talks about wanting what you shouldn't have. Um, it, it talks about Am I ignoring red flags because this person's very attractive? Let's clarify. Let's clarify. Now, looking at that Wheel of Fortune card, when you think about the Wheel of Fortune, it talks about opportunities that are in alignment with our destiny. It talks about fated encounters, monumental events. It's usually connected with something very big. You know, the Wheel of Fortune card shows up when some, some sort of major change is happening. And for some people, it could feel like a sudden change, unexpected change. But it's usually in our highest good when it's in the upright. It talks about the universe having a pull at getting something to move in a different direction if people have been stalling. Why the, why the Wheel of Fortune? Why the Wheel of Fortune for how this person feels about Capricorn? Whoa! That one aggressively wanted to come out. The Chariot, major for Cancer. Now, the chariot, when it shows up in someone's feelings, that's the energy of feeling like one knows what direction to take. It's the energy of feeling confident in the direction one is driving and knowing where to go. It's like, I already know the location I'm supposed to be headed. I feel, I feel like I, I know what to do here. 
So this person feels confident that proceeding towards you is in their highest favor, okay? But maybe they need a little bit of encouragement to feel this confident as I am also seeing the Four of Swords and the Hanged Man. Someone may have needed to figure things out and focus on you know, some things before making this known to you. And that might be what's bugging you. You may feel like they took too long to share their feelings, to share their thoughts, to show up. That's not gonna be for everybody. And for those who have already been in a relationship with this person, you may feel like this person is took too long to let some behaviors go in order for your relationship to be healthy and happy. And for some of you, this is vice versa. Take it however it resonates. But sometimes when I see the Four of Swords, it could indicate that there was a break. You guys took a break, a break in communication or a break from each other, or someone needed a break to really focus on what they needed to work on within themselves so that way they weren't in their own way, okay? Let me get another card on that, but I'm gonna use a different set of cards, one second. Open up to the Lover's card and Judgment. Please clarify again this person's feelings for Capricorn. Why the Wheel of Fortune and the Chariot alongside the Four Swords and the Hanged Man? The Hanged Man is that energy of, all right, I surrender. I'm going to just let go and let God. If this is meant to move forward, it's meant to move forward. And I feel like that's what this person did. They surrendered. Instead of being too controlling in the, the situation, like someone here may be dealing with a control freak where someone had to control every, every, every conversation, every expression of feelings, every bit of vulnerability. And the hangs man to the four of swords is showing me that someone took a little mental break and came to a realization that it's best to not control the situation too much, not to be so obsessed with the outcome in a situation and to like go with the flow. All right, because that's the wheel of fortune as well. It's the energy of moving, constant moving the more you don't get in the flow it stops that wheel kevin ella card on this person's feelings for capricorn the six of pentacles and the hanged man again and then i see the lovers so capricorn you've got someone that may be looking at things in your perspective in regards to what they you know brought to the relationship you know, because the Six of Pentacles is an equal give and take. I scratch your back, you scratch my back. Everyone's happy. But they may be looking at your perspective and feeling like maybe they were not, you know, always like that for you. Okay? Because I am getting that you're questioning something. You're questioning how serious somebody is with you with the Ten of Cups being here with this energy. And then I see the Six of Pentacles again. It's like, for some of you, you might feel like someone is only acting this way because they sense you pulling back in some regard. Um, hmm. I'm seeing repeated cards, too. Let me just jump right into your feelings, and then I'll circle back to their feelings. Why is Capricorn feeling this way? And then I see the Two of Cups and the Lover. Some of you might have choices in love. You don't have to have another person in the situation along this person, but you may have choices in love where you're like, you know what? I have the choice to just go in a different direction and meet someone new if I wanted to. Clarify the King of Swords for how Capricorn feels about this person. The King of Swords again. Look at that. You're in the pursuit of information this week. You're in the energy of forget lovey-dovey stuff. Let's forget about flirting. I have some questions. Are you ready to answer my questions is what you're saying to this person this week, Capricorn. I can see you texting this person, calling them on the phone, FaceTiming them in person conversations where you're like, I've got some questions for you. You don't have to be coming in very like, you know, you must answer my questions. No, it, it, you could still be coming in with that soft touch. But it is showing me that you've got some questions that you're hoping that this person can answer before you can emotionally, you know, feel again. Because with your advice being the Ace of Cups, the universe is kind of confirming that you've kind of put your love in a protective jar right now. And you've got that cork on it. As if to say, I'm not giving this person my heart, my vulnerability until I know what's up. All right. Whether you guys have been together and you guys went on a break um, and now you're like, should I let this person into my heart again? 
or if you've never been in a relationship but you may feel like things were not even, not even Stevens here for you, you may feel like you're questioning their intentions all the time. Two of Cups again. So you do care about this person. That's no, no, nothing to debate here. You do have strong feelings for this person too. You feel like there's something about this person that is special from the rest of the people you meet. Can I get another card on Capricorn's feelings? I want to get a little bit more than the King of Swords. I want to know how you feel beyond this need to, you know, investigate something. You're definitely coming in as a very smart person. Someone that uses strong discernment. Why the King of Swords twice? Why the King of Swords twice? The Three of Pentacles. You want to make certain that this person's on the same page as you and is going to be a team player. And, you know, you just, you want to make sure that foundation is strong and sturdy so that way you can avoid any unnecessary towers in the future. Because that's what towers are. Building a relationship with someone without a strong foundation, thinking that getting into a relationship is going to make everything better, but if you don't have a strong foundation, those walls come crashing down. So you want to make sure that the foundation is secure. And then I got the hair font and I got temperance. So you, you are telling me that you do respect this person, you do admire this person and feel like you guys would make a good team. Um, you do feel like this person's in alignment with your values, your, your morals, things like that. But you can feel that way with many people. You want to make sure that the actual romantic relationship is going to be worth it to you. Clarify this person's intentions with Capricorn. Because right now we have the Emperor, and usually when the Emperor shows up in tensions position, that's the intent to control the situation, to take leadership of a situation, to um, find a way to secure, you know, what's, what's needing to be secured. And since this is a love reading, securing the relationship. Why the Emperor? And we got the Fool right here, and we got the Fool in the outcome. So that's the intent to take charge and take lead in order for something to have a new beginning. Okay. Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups is your advice. But I'm strongly getting a Capricorn that has had their fair share of heartache and you're just not wanting to make you're just not wanting to open yourself up to that again, whether it was by this person or someone that came along before this person. You're just not in any mood to like skip over crossing any T's, dotting any I's, because you know what it feels like to be a walking human dartboard and you don't want to ever kiss rock bottom ever again. All right, so this is why you're doing your due diligence, Capricorn, to get as many as many details off of this situation as possible before you put yourself in that position. Okay, you've been there before. You've already eaten the dirt that you had facing you when you face planted on the ground. You know, rock bottom is not a place that a lot of people want to be in more than necessary. Nine of Pentacles right here shows me that you've been doing your healing. You've been doing the work. You've walked away from a lot of crap in your life. Clarify that Eight of Wands in the challenge position. Clarify the Eight of Wands in the challenge position. The Page of Cups. Now, the Page of Cups at Eight of Wands, that's telling me that someone worries that someone is making this love offer prematurely without really knowing how they truly feel or what they really want and just being too like, hey, let's do this without fully thinking it through. And that feels like it, it may be your person. You may be worried that this person is coming in to you know, over optimistic without really fully knowing whether or not you guys are on the same page or able to overcome any obstacles that life brings the relationship, especially if you've already been through some obstacles and you may feel like it's too soon after a last challenge that you guys may have had together to already be so quickly ready to get into any other big changes. I got that same message off of Sagittarius's reading. Um, I think Sagittarius had that, where something felt like you guys were you guys are making an agreement to work together, but already wanting to skip some steps to get everything else generated instead of just seeing how 
this situation stabilizes first. It's like, all right, we just started getting together and dating. Now you're already talking about moving in with each other, so let's slow that down. Or if you guys were separated and you decided to reconcile, you're like, all right, let's see how our reconciliation um, goes before we even talk about like having a baby together or getting married or whatnot. Just, it's, it's like someone's wanting to couple, skip a couple steps. And you may be in this energy of, we can't skip any steps. What are you talking about? We need, we need more information to make sure that we can build this solid foundation with each other. All right, let's clarify this person's actions and behavior. The magician has actions and behavior. That's using the tools that you were gifted to make something work out. Like we are all born with our own skills in regards to our lives. Like for example, some people are born with the gift of charisma. And this is the energy of this person using their charisma to get what they want out of you. Some people are born with the gift of, you know, a strong love language and using that love language to get what they want. You, you know what I'm saying? This person is going to use whatever they were gifted in regards to what makes them attracted or attractive to people or makes people want to do what they want. They're going to do it. Why the magician, please? The Seven of Swords, I don't like that. And then I got the Judgment card and I got the Knight of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. This person is kind of showing me that if they can sense that you are coming in very like judgmental of them in regards to their plans that they're offering you, they might feel tempted to like manipulate the situation in order to avoid not getting what they want. Where they might like avoid certain things that you are asking them. Like for example, Say you ask this person a very important question this week and that question is something that they either A, don't have an answer for and they know that just saying I don't know is not going to be the right answer that you are wanting to hear. They might be tempted to, you know, embellish on something just to like get you to move on to the next question. Or if you are asking them a question and they know if they give you a straight answer, you may look at them a little wonky and side eye them a little bit. They might avoid that answer and just change the subject or like um, answer, but answer in a way where you don't even really know what the actual answer was that they gave you. It's like, did they answer me? I could have sworn I heard an answer here, but they kind of went left, they kind of went right, like evading the, the question, you know? Have you ever seen those debates on TV where the, the questionnaire is asking a question and the person answering says everything but what the actual question was? Or it's kind of what I'm getting. Kind of what I'm getting. Hmm. I need another card on that. Hold on. I feel like I'm getting a little deeper here. Now again, if that doesn't resonate, don't force it. But it does feel like you may deal with someone that avoids certain conversations or when you ask a specific question, it's like there's like something that you may get off, you may get the feeling is off limits to talk about. Like, hey, so how do you feel about me? Uh, 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 hey, by the way, I picked up your laundry today. It's like, no, that wasn't the question. I asked, how do you feel about me? Uh, did you ever get that call from that doctor you were asking about? It's like, really? Clarify that again. The page of swords almost hopped out. The two of cups. And then I see the Ten of Cups, and then I see the Queen of Pentacles, which is your energy. So it feels like this person wants to have a future with you, and they're not wanting to like do anything to risk it. Okay? But I feel like you, I feel like you feel like something is bothering you. So let me just clarify that Devil and the Six of Swords to see if it can give me more insight. And then I'm looking at the Five of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. You may feel like there was a time when you needed this person and they didn't show up for you. Or you're worried that they will not show up for you during the bad times and only showing up through the good times. All right? It's like you want to make sure that this person can be, you know, depended on if you need them during hardships. Clarify that Devil to the Six of Swords. Or maybe there was an abandonment that already took place. 
King of Pentacles. And we just had the Queen of Pentacles a moment ago. Four of Cups, and I got the Eight of Cups and the Star. There is a part of you that wonders if this person wants it enough or they're wanting it right now because they're seeing you not as open to it. It's like, does this person just want me badly because I haven't been as like open about wanting them? You may wonder if it's just ego-based, ego wanting to have control, wanting to have the upper hand. Um, clarify this this full energy. Yeah, you've got a lot of what ifs floating around, Capricorn. So you definitely want to talk to this person if you resonate with this video. Okay, if you've got a lot of what ifs, just talk to this person because they're the only ones that can give you the answer. The Empress. So clarifying the fool, I got the Empress. And we already had this person's intentions as the emperor. So for some of you Capricorns, what they have to say might be enough to like satisfy you to go to the next step with each other. Okay? But I still have some Cappies that might always have in the back of their head, you know, that, that can this person be trusted factor. I, I would definitely get that out of the way before accepting this person's offer, Capricorn, because if you're accepting this offer while still having some doubt, it's going to eventually come and bite you in the butt in the long run. The Ace of Cups is your advice, and then I'll pull your person's hidden message with these cards. Why the Ace of Cups as Capricorn's advice this week? Eight of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. So they are encouraging you to not lower your voice and to speak up if you need to speak up and ask this person some questions. Queen of Swords, King of Swords. That's a, a very important conversation. They're asking you to put a little bit more effort into your own self-love right now and not put too much pressure on yourself in regards to needing to know what, what's going on with this person because they don't want you to stress yourself out. But they do want you to ask this person questions that you need to ask. Just don't drive yourself sick by obsessing about it as, as much as you may have been with that devil to the six of swords because it's not healthy. All right, I feel like your mental health is top priority here. So if this person's got you stressing nonstop, then you definitely want to take a step back and focus on your health and then go from there. Once you've rested and you feel like your, your well-being is in order, then you'll be able to know how to move forward with clarity. Because when we're driving ourselves sick with wondering and being nervous and anxious, we'll end up focusing on things that we don't even need to focus on because we're going to just attract more things to be stressful about. So you could be dealing with an Aries. I've got Capricorn energy here. I have Pisces. I have Scorpio, Virgo, Gemini, Taurus, Libra. Um, Leo is here. And I believe I did say Scorpio, but if not, Scorpio is here. But it could be any zodiac sign. All right, so I hope this message helped drop that like and subscribe button for your girl and if you would like to book a private reading with me capricorn the link to my website can be found in the description box below of every video badison intuitive tarot.com that's 2 D's, not one for badison and every sunday morning at 9 a.m eastern standard time i go live with the all signs their feelings for you spread where i dive into your person's feelings towards you for the week ahead so, similar to this i will leave in the description box below this video the most recent all signs reading i did because it's a brand new video it's good for the week so if you resonate with this and check out that message um yeah so that's it it hurts to see online that you moved on with your life this is primarily for the group that may have not heard heard from this person in a while i'm confused about what i should do about my feelings for you you are my best friend and i cherish our friendship above all others I still feel your energy around me. I never believed in these things before. I do now. All right, don't forget, I also did your October monthly and another weekly. It's in my October playlist. All right, so I hope this helps. I love you guys. I'll see you in a few days for your next weekly update. Namaste.